everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Pro. Today, we're going to talk about a back pin. The back pin shot, although not really well used on the tornado table, works great on some other tables. I wouldn't suggest it in the current tournament format, but for something fun, for pickup games, for even possibly something like the fireball table, it's a pretty usable shot. This is something that a lot of people have been very successful on, one of which, namely, Bill Ray. Uh, there are some videos you can find on YouTube currently on my channel where Bill Ray is playing on the fireball table, probably against me, and playing very, very well. Uh, shooting at a high percentage, and it is a very good shot in his hands. Let's jump on the table. Let me show you how it is to shoot a back pin. When it comes to the grip of a back pin, you're going to use pretty much the same grip that you use for your pull shot. However, I want you to find the sweet spot to where you're comfortable with the ball pinned and your hand on the rod. This is gonna be the best place for you to move the ball around and be comfortable also shooting the ball. The execution is gonna be very similar to the pull shot where you're trying to hit the ball from almost a stub position. So all of your power is gonna come from your grip and the torque. When shooting a back pin, Getting used to moving the ball around while pinned is the key to this shot. You want to make sure that you can walk the ball the whole length of the goal, back and forth. Once you can do this, it's time to learn how to make do the toss. Once you get good at walking the ball back and forth, it's time to start using the actual toss. The toss for this is going to be different than most other shots because you need to bring the ball forward, closer to the rod. This allows for you to actually hit the ball. When doing the toss, start on one side of the ball, come across to the direction that you're looking to go, but instead of lifting up in the middle, bring it further across and it'll bring the ball forward. Finding the sweet spot to where you can almost pinch the ball out is one of the most important parts to this shot. As you're tossing the ball over, try and follow the ball for as long as possible. As the ball's rolling forward, you'll find that sweet spot. This is where you want to hit the ball and try and get the ball to land. If I'm trying to do a pull side, I want the ball to end up right around here. This is about that sweet spot. You're going to do the same thing on the push side. One of the actual strong aspects of this shot is its ability to slice the ball and cut it back. This allows your middles to actually brush across and go through weird holes. To do this, you're going to make the same motion that you do when doing a brush pass. Bring the ball to the spot where you wish to execute and then simply brush against the ball. Notice that when I hit the ball here, I'm cutting back across. So as I follow forward, I'm hitting the ball and trying to go across it. A great way to practice this is get directly behind the ball. Come to the opposite side that you wish to hit and cut across. This brush motion really allows for you to cut the ball back and make some really neat shots. The more you brush across the ball, the steeper the ball will go. You can even place the ball as far as down here and get it to brush back up. One of the difficult and tricky parts about this shot is you cannot simply just press through the ball. You cannot get it to just shoot. You have to get the ball to draw forward a little bit so that you can hit it. This means you can't just simply do like a flip over straight or something along those lines. All shots have to be done off of a moving option. A simple way to practice this is kind of pick the spot you wish to hit the ball from, jump up, and hit the ball. I think everybody should work on this shot to some degree, mostly because of walking this ball back and forth is a great way to get used to pinning the ball. I don't think that a back pin is going to be the most effective shot on the tornado table. However, on certain tables, it's a very effective shot. It's going to depend on the table that you're playing on, how good you become at it, 
and your thought process when shooting. Hey guys, before I close out this video, I wanted to let you know, Brandon Moreland, the world reigning doubles champion, is on Facebook. Make sure you let him know that I sent you. He has lessons going right now and he will individually assess your game and let you know how you're doing and how to improve. I too am gonna go through this process with him and hopefully do a video on it with you guys so you guys can all see it as well. Check him out. I'll have a link to him down, in, down below and also see this flyer real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Road to Pro. If you liked it, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. This is just yet another video that I think you guys will find very helpful in your general process in becoming a better foosball player. Please, if you want to see more content, let me know in the comments down below on what you'd like to see next. Until next time, everybody, happy foosin'.